Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing this picture out of um, Miniature Enchanted Forest. Now this is the sort of gargoyle that's on the gate. Um, it's actually opposite the um, lovely lion page, but uh, I'm just going to get him in the middle. We're going to have a go at him. Now, it's I always struggle to know whether to do him stone, with this being stone as well. But as there's lines coming out, I think we're going to do this as fire. But we might do him as a stone um, gargoyle. So what I'm going to do is start with some black, um, number nine. And just, this is Stadler Erga Soft. And just think about where he's going to be darkest. And I'm thinking here. I'm using the Erga Soft um, partly because it's what I've got down here where I'm filming in my kitchen. But also because it's a very small picture. So I think it's... Uh, is easier with these. You can sharpen them to a very fine point as you can see that I've done. So I'm thinking that these bits would be sort of indented slightly and this bit would be sticking out which is why I'm sort of filling them in. Um, I'm also thinking about other shadowing. Um, this is behind. It's probably going to be darker. There might be some shadow here from the knee and the arm under here, maybe up here. Uh, I'm never quite sure what's going on here, but I think that might stand out a little bit. Uh, I don't want to do the teeth, but maybe up there a little bit. And maybe just along this line. Just down there. Sorry, I have to go at that angle or I can't get it quite right. So I think we'll leave that for the black. And I'll grab my dark grey, number eight, and we'll do some more enhancements to the shading. Remembering that we can do a layer of lighter grey and we can also leave some white if we think it would be shiny. I'm thinking if it's stone, which they usually are, it's probably not going to have a big deal of shine because stone is, tends to be quite dull but uh, we'll see what I decide so I'm going to fill in some more of this oops, I went over the line, hang on, I'm just going to grab my rubber I'm using my Tombow Mono and I'm just going to erase that bit there because I don't want it to be really dark, so we'll go back in there and uh, back over that bit. And then down here, you can see I'm just working gently at the minute while I'm thinking about what I want to do. I don't want to put lots of um, colour down and change my mind because I wouldn't have been able to rub it out like I did then. If we go dark under here, it gives us some more shape to the arm as well. Um, we've, and under here, there would be some, it would be darker, wouldn't it? I'm not sure about the torch part. Would that be stone? Hmm, yes, it would, wouldn't it? We'll put some along here as well. And if we put a tiny bit there, it help it to look more cone shaped. There we go, and there'll be some shadow under his hand. I'm saying him. I don't think it's a female somehow. It could very well be, who knows? Okay, I'm gonna leave that for now. We can always come back in with more layers of dark colour after. But I'm gonna grab number 80, which is gonna be my lightest colour. And I'm just gonna fill this in. And this bit. You can see I'm going quite rough actually and quick. It's quite a small area so your technique doesn't need to be quite so uh, perfect because it, it's easier I find on a smaller area to hide your marks if you do any a bit wrong. Now this bit I want to be quite light like it's pushing forward and catching the light. still needs to be stone, so I still need to put some grey down, but I'm going to make it 
lighter in colour, like that. See, I decided to make that bit a little bit darker, just and here, just to make it interesting, but I'm not using the different colour at the moment. I'm going to see how it goes. And here I'm going to go from dark to light. Same here. Now, it's got teeth here. Now, it's always tempting to leave them white, but he's stoned, so we can just do him very pale. Now, see, what I'm trying to do is to blend in this, these darker areas and then take them to lighter. This would probably be darker down here and we might need to add in some darker pencil down there. We'll have a look when it's done because the joy is that you can go in with more layers. I haven't really thought about the toes, what to do with them. We'll think about them in a minute. Carry on through. See, at the moment that looks shiny and metallic because of the white. I don't want that, so I'm going to colour over it. Now it doesn't look metallic. Obviously, if you wanted it metallic, just leave it with that white gap. It's amazing what a difference a little bit of a white gap m makes. Now, I am going to use this grey, number 8, and do a little bit down here. I think it would be shady down here. And I'm just going to gently work that into the lighter colour and then grab the lighter one, blend over the top, just to try and blend it in. I like the way these pencils just blend. I find it easy to blend things in. We need to think about those toes though. I'm not sure, would that be a little bit darker at the bottom? Maybe this back one would be a bit darker because it's behind. Maybe that would be a bit dark down there too. There we go. And maybe around this knee might be dark. There, I'm going to leave him there. I'm quite happy with him. You could go on fiddling and shading. It depends what sort of effect you want to get. Now we've got the fire to do. Now. I'm not going to try and make it look real. It's just not something that I can uh, that I'm I'm good at really. I'm just going to do a graduating colour, starting with 24 from bottom to top, and hopefully it will look nice and bright and fiery. So I'm doing a hard layer at the bottom. But I'm trying to blend it up a little bit so that when I grab my next colour, it will blend in. Now you see I'm not taking it all the way along this flame, I'm staying down at the bottom. I've got plenty of other colours to go, so uh, I'm not worried too much. I'm going to just work down through. I don't know if I told you the number, 24, I think I did. And now we're going to go down to number 4, which is the next orange down. I'm just going to... You could start with red, but uh, I... Uh, wasn't sure whether all oh, there's a really dark ready orange, but I wanted it quite bright. And now this is the last sort of orange colour, which is 42, because I want to go to some yellow on the ends. And it probably won't look real. Well, it won't look real by any sense of the word, but it'll. Uh, Hopefully, give the impression of fire. That's what I was, who was I watching someone on a video the other day and they were saying how um, number 11, what we're doing when we're making art is we're creating an illusion. I'm going to take that right to the tip and go right over. You see how that makes it much more vibrant once if I go over the whole thing in yellow. I'm going to do the same with this. I could just scribble over the whole lot, but I find it's better to deal with each little section one at a time. It seems to somehow maintain those separate sections. There we go. And it's <clears throat> it looks like it's brightening this area. Sorry. 
number one. So I'm just going to do some light around it. It's there. That's our uh, that's our fiery gargoyle. So I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope it uh, gave you a few ideas. Thank you very much for watching and happy colouring. <laughs>